Oxford. I am a cell membrane scientist studying the uses of the cell membrane. I will tell you now. Let's go take an adventure to my laboratory where we will see a skilled model of the cell membrane. Let us go see now. Oops, didn't see you there. So this is a skill model on the cell membrane. As you can see here, it's made of like netting material and it lets certain things in and through. My assistant will now try to get in because she is not hydrophilic. She will not be able to get in. Whoa, that's like not even working because I can't get in the cell membrane. I'm not as tiny as this little circle here, so I can't get in. What do you guys have to say? The function of the cell membrane has to do, it filters through different stuff that tries to get into the cell. So at some particles, it only lets hydrophilic, which means water. So pretty much just lets particles that have water in them. Um, it interacts pretty much with the whole cell because it protects the whole cell pretty much from all different types of viruses particles, other <laughs> sicknesses. Hello, this is my good friend Alvin here to ask me some questions. Okay, so what does the cell membrane look like? The cell membrane uh, is pretty clear. Uh, it allows stuff to go through, so it's clear pretty much. And that's why we can see all the parts of the of the cell inside past the membrane. So what's the shape of the cell membrane? Um, there's no specific shape because as because the cells are pretty much unique. Um, but it only happens in animal cells where they don't have cell walls. So yeah, they're pretty unique. Okay, and. What would you compare a cell membrane to? I would compare it to more like a net or a filter. Only let certain stuff to go in and certain stuff kept out of the cell. Okay, thank you. Thank you. If you have any questions about vocabulary, 